A small Marshall County community is trying to figure out how they will ever replace two teachers who have been the rocks not just of the school, but for the community for decades. Matt Henson has the story. Maps of the neighborhood, yep. It's a familiar sound in the Grigla Public School. Recall, spell it. The voice of fifth grade teacher Mike Gast. If you do finish your letter, I And computer and typing teacher Beth Kuchera. Both have been at the K through 12 school for more than three decades. When kids say, you know what, my grandma said that you did this for her, and I'm like, ooh, yes I did, you know. Makes you feel a little old, but yet at the same time, that's a lot of lives to touch, and you're leaving a legacy. While legacies never fade, their careers are coming to an end in May. I think I'm doing it the right way. Leave while you love it, and then it'll always be a super memory. And I just want to do something else. I'm going to miss teaching. There's no doubt about it. Okay, I'm going to start reading. Gas came to the school 35 years ago, fresh out of college. The dairy farmer from Beltrami was looking for his first teaching job. Well, that was not my plan when I moved here. I thought I would put a few years in here and then move on to other things. Um, but the community is been very good to me and my family. And we hit okay. It's 34 like, years ago, another enthusiastic college grad came to Grigla. While Beth Kuchera is known not to wear shoes now, she did have shoes on at the time. We started with the first green screen computers and now we've got top-notch Macs and the kids all have Chromebooks. They're very like knowledgeable and they like know different ways to like teach you. Like if you're having a problem, like they know different ways to like try to get you to understand what they're talking about. The school has only 20 teachers, and replacing these two will be nearly impossible. The reputations that they've built in the school, um, you know, trying to replace, replace that with somebody new is, is uh, going to be very difficult. Both said they may substitute next year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.